everybody and welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today a couple things we're going to do today i finally got a hold of the mini envelope punch board for, whoops that the little baby uh, bone folder thing flies out of and you can make lots of little envelopes here i do have a tutorial if you do not have this or don't want to purchase another thing in your craft room i do have a tutorial on how to make mini diy envelopes but um, if you are interested in knowing about the punch board, um, here it is. I wouldn't pay too much for it because it is very, very small. And per my tutorial, you can make one on the larger punch board. But I thought I would give this a try because I finally got it for a great price. Um, I think it's scrapbook.com. And anyway, you can make the tiniest. Let me show you. So here's a project I was working on yesterday just to kind of give you an idea. This is a pillow box from Sizzix and I just made that. I had extra paper so I went ahead and made this. It's a one inch by one inch square envelope and it's so cute. And if you undo the string you can't open it and put a little card inside of there. So that's how tiny you can make that. So today we're going to make a little bit bigger one. Um, I'm going to do some sealing wax um, stuff with this which is very fun. So I'm going to go ahead and light my candle. I got these little wax pellets, I guess if you want to call them that, on Amazon and you can get different colors and you can get sticks. Um, so I thought I would try that. I love old paper and seals. So I'm just going to go ahead and light my candle while I get a kit that comes with these or you can just buy... Oops. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get that going. You can just use a tea light, whatever. So while that's um, going over there, we're going to quickly make this. This, we're going to make a 3x3 th three three card, I think is what I got this to. So I had to make a 3x3 three three card to go inside. Um, you have to cut your paper to 4 and 7 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths, so just under. So you can find that on here. This is the one we're looking at. You're probably not going to be able to see that. but And so our first score marks at two and a half, and that's really all you need to know. So two and a half, and it's just like the big punch board. So you line it up to the two and a half mark, the punch, and then you do this score line. And then I just feel where the score line is, punch, oops, turn, you'll be at the two and a half again. Punch, turn, feel where that score mark is, punch, turn, and then it's got the little corner rounders on here, just like the large one. It's so cute. This is some authentic paper. It is double-sided. You can use whatever paper you have, and then just get rid of your little scraps there. Okay, and then you're just going to fold up just like normal to make our cute little envelope. I didn't square that side very well. Okay, so just like that. Now we're going to take some glue and we're just going to go ahead and glue. Now you can put something fun inside of here, like if you look through your ephemera bits just any 3x3 three three little card or whatnot to put inside. I ripped my paper. Oh no, I didn't. That's an extra. I ripped my paper. An extra bit. That beautiful paper. And then you can simply seal that up. Um, in this one, I'm going to go ahead and put some sequins. You can put little paper squares. You could put a card. Um, whatever. Actually, maybe I'll put. Mixture and put the blue. Put a little mixture. Just a fun little thing that they can open up. And you can tuck these in happy mail, loaded envelopes, and the whatnot. Alright, so glue out of the way. Get my candle over here so I don't burn the place down. I've got it on one of my stamping blocks. With this style, you put it in the little thing, or you could use a teaspoon. And then you hold it over the flame. And you will get some black soot on the bottom of this, but it just wipes away when you're done. So no worries there. So these are going to melt down. I will fast forward this because you're not going to want to stand here or watch this. It just takes a couple minutes, maybe. 
I'm going to show you my stamp I got from Amazon and it is this B. You can get tons of different ones. You can get them on Etsy. You can get them on different places. And once this is to a pouring consistency, we're going to pour it out on our closed envelope. And I love this. It's so old fashioned. <laughs> I love it. All right. So this is nice and melted. I'm going to carefully move that aside and bring my envelope in here and get it as flat as possible. So then I'm going to just pour this. Obviously you want to make sure that the opening is fully covered and try to get it into circular fashion as best you can. Um, might want to put three pellets in there for a larger envelope. I think this is probably going to be okay. I'm just kind of using the thing to kind of make the most of it. The beauty of it is it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I've got my B. I gotta make sure I put it the right way here. And I'm just going to put it down into the wax and let it sit there for a minute. You can see some squirted out the side. I'm not worried about that. Part of it is I've got sequins in here. It'll be more flat with paper. But the beauty of these kinds of things is the imperfections, I think. And it cools rather quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. It comes out clean. So, oops. There we go. Don't even have to clean that, which is, oh, I did my little thing crookedly, but it doesn't matter. So it's got, it's sealed now, and it's almost cool. And this is, of course, the traditional sort of sealing color um, that people would use. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Let me zoom back out here. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> All right, so I just think it's Fun. I've ordered some sticks with the wick in it in some different colors. You can get like unicorny colors, you can get pinks and things to go with like your Maggie Home stuff and all that kind of a thing. But I just think this is absolutely beautiful. And what a fun way you can embellish the front of your envelope once this cools. What a fun way to get little treats in your loaded envelopes and things. And um, yeah, I could do all sorts of things large envelopes, small envelopes, you could do packages, you could do string around here. You tie the string around and then you do it over the string uh, all sorts of things you can do but I'm gonna go ahead and do some more playing I just wanted to throw that out to you with a few simple supplies uh, I kind of clean off my wax here let me just show you see the soot on the bottom it just uh, wipes away here if I can get a hold of it um, and you can clean out your wax just be careful it might be a little bit warm still I have cooking fingers so <laughs> I don't even know when I'm hurt half the time but uh, anyway and you can just easily clean that out uh, like so all right guys hopefully you enjoyed that fun little tutorial something a little bit different um, but these are so much fun it's a new way to stamp not a new way it's an old way but um, you know people would have their signet rings and they go Poof, right in there and then lift it up and that would be the sign the official sign of the king or whatever but Anyway, I love that. Thanks guys so much for joining me. Have a great day.